What's going on everyone? It's time for another Universal Classic Monsters film review. Today we're going to be continuing on with the Mummy fi uh, films. Uh, yeah, the next one, the Mummy franchise from that era. It's The Mummy's Curse. Just by Universal, December 22nd, 1944. It's written by Bernard Schobert, Oliver Drake, and Leslie... Uh, direct, uh, produced by Oliver Drake, Oliver Drake, and directed by Leslie Goodwins. He's also done... Uh, Mexican Spitfire, Mexican Spitfire sees a ghost at Mexican Spitfire at sea. Uh, Mexican Spitfire blessed, right? And Mexican Spitfire elephant, neat. Uh, the girl from Mexico. He's also done like Silver Skates and the Double Diamond. So yeah, whole pile of random weird movies there. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is uh, another sequel to the Mummy films. Now I find all these movies kind of like are similar. So yeah, we see Karis again, the Mummy from the previous films, and uh, he is uh, taken to Cajun country from from some archaeologist takes him there and wants to study them, the Mummy. So but then of course is uh, he's always tormented by his uh, lost love. Annika and he comes alive because he knows she's around somewhere and he goes and tries to find her just like the previous one <laughs> so yeah um basically it's a rehash of the f last sequel um and uh yeah it's not bad it's um it's pretty hokey in <laughs> some parts and things like that but for the most part it's actually pretty fun and enjoyable it was uh it's definitely not the worst one out of the bunch but it is uh on the slider tamer side i found it's not as like a slasher film like the previous sequels i found this one to be more of like just a rehash of the previous film with what cut back on the violence and stuff there's still some pretty good character development in the story even though it's another hour and one minute film <laughs> and uh yeah but there is quite a bit of good character development in there to make you follow along at least and uh yeah it was pretty standard back in the day to do stuff like this and uh yeah so uh but yeah but when you see the mummy and stuff like that he looks pretty good still for the 1940s <laughs> and uh yeah he definitely the monster f the mummy um that kind of uh was become more like somewhat human moving a little more fluently i found and stuff like that either that or they messed up real hard <laughs> but uh for the most part this film is actually fun and enjoyable but it's definitely um a little bit of a slow burn I found too so yeah but if you want to check it out there's a trailer link down below like always uh yeah I don't really have much to say about this one so <laughs> well, yeah anyways um if you like the previous mummy movies you'll probably like this one if you don't like the older mummy movies that because they're black and white and stuff like that this one's probably not for you but yeah it's still a fun little uh, mummy chasing after people type film which you don't see very often anyway so um yeah it's definitely more amusing than the previous ones the previous ones are more for like the slasher crowd this one's more for like the thriller more dramatic sort of sense of people in that crowd <laughs> so yeah yeah but there's a trailer link like always like i said i'm gonna oh yeah by the way i'm gonna give this film a three out of five um also link down below is my instagram Instagram where I post clips of films I'm going to be in the future. All my stories are at the film title and hashtag and subject on film and hashtag so you're aware of it. And also like down there is my letterbox of therapy reviews and stuff that was for Earth starting right after watching the film. So follow me on one of those two uh, platforms. Stay in the loop. Like this video. Share some more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have them, any. And uh, yeah, let me know what your favorite universal classic monster film is if you have one too. Also if you have any films I want you hear my opinion opinions on in the future comment those down below too i'll try my to as soon as i can and if i can find them so yeah but that's it for this one just a little short one it's uh it's a rehash basically so there's not much really to say about it but it's still a good little 
a good way to burn an hour. It's still fun. So check it out. Um, yeah, but also make sure you subscribe. Uh, so hopefully we'll find something weird, obscure, and odd together. Or um, so you hear my opinions on older films and classic films like this one. Uh, so yeah. And don't forget to ring that bell because, uh, um, yeah, we have one more mummy film to go and then we're moving on to the Invisible Man stuff, so, films. So, yeah, but we're going to be talking about Abbott and Stello Meet the Mummy, another horror comedy from that era. So, tune in for that one. Was it as good as Mummy and Stello Meet Frankenstein? Well, you have to wait and see and find out. Make sure you ring that bell. And uh, till then, watch out for that scantily clad mummy out there chasing after the girls and I guess I'll see you all in the next one so until then cheers